Okay, okay go ahead. I just, I wouldn't stay on any, any of the bridges because of the problems with the youngsters. Not far away. You know, it's cold. And, uh, I just should stay in the overflow shelter. What, what's the problems with the youngsters? They just hassle you and cause problems. I was under the bridge one time and sleeping and they walked up and peed on me. Oh my gosh. So I don't do bridges. Are they out, are the kids out at like Old Town or out drinking or something or what? No, they're just teenagers. Teenagers out have, have no parental control whatsoever. So it's kind of, it's not suburban kids, it's no. kind of no, unsupervised kids. Unsupervised kids. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, they are. And they're well, and, uh, and they're always talking about getting a 24-7 shelter here to help guys get off the streets. Not going to happen, which do Why not? The city and the state doesn't want it. They don't want nothing to do with it. Every building that even tried to get in the downtown area has been vacant for years for a 24-7 shelter. As soon as they hear what it's for, then it's not here. It doesn't happen. Because they, because they think, oh, we don't want this element in this part of town. Yeah. See, you know, it, it, my daughter was in Chicago doing an internship, and, you know, shelter does not really have to mean, you know, chronically helping people, you know, uh, it, it, they, they were shelters up there where they were the, the people staffed the shelter, they did the meals, they cooked, you know, people, and it's, it doesn't, you know, people need help sometimes, but it doesn't have to mean. See, if they got a 24-7 shelter, a place where you can keep your stuff, get a good night's sleep, get, stay clean, your chances of getting a job would be a whole lot better. Yeah. Living at the shelter at night, I mean, you just, you can't keep your stuff there, and you don't get a whole lot of good sleep, so you have to rely on day labor. So 24-7 means like that you can you can keep all your stuff there and stay there for a while? Stay there, stay like for 30 days until you are, and once you get a job, you have time to save up money so you can write your own place. Uh -huh. you know, that would work. Uh -huh. They've been trying that for years here, and I just don't think it's going to happen. Well, does like a city like Kansas City have one? I don't, I'm not sure whether they do it out. They were talking about it one time, too. I'm a, I'm a member of the Advocates to End Chronic Homelessness. I've been working with them for years and years, uh -huh. trying to get something because not not all not all guys are going to go into it. Yeah, it's not going to work for everybody. But those that take advantage of it, they can be off the streets in 30 or 45 days. Yeah. You know, it's just because guys are trying staying out the rescue mission and getting a job there. But then once they find out you got a job, then you have to pay them every night to stay there. So yeah. It discourages a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah. I think most members of Congress.